on the page, and that's it. I'm gonna go into the CSS file, and I'm just gonna give the div some dimensions. I'm gonna give it a height of 100 pixels, width 100 pixels, and I'm gonna give it a background color of blue. And I'm also gonna give it a border of one pixel solid black. Okay. And then I want to center it in the middle of the page. So I'm going to say body. I'm going to set the margin to zero. Display to flex. Align items. Center. Justify content. Center. Height. 100 view height. Width. 100 view width. Save. And that's going to put it in the center. All right. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to set the transition attribute to transform and two seconds. And I can press save. Right now I want to add in, I'm just going to say transform and I can say translate. And I can move the square here, 100 pixels to the right and 100 pixels down. And I can press save. And you'll see that this transition property here is actually going to animate it for us automatically. You can also do a translate 3D where I can say 100 pixels, 100 pixels, 100 pixels. All right, and that'll also translate it in the Z direction. So not just left and right or up and down, but also back and forth. All right, we can also do a rotation so we can do a rotate and i can say 360 degrees all right and we'll watch that spin and we can also do a rotate 3d where we specify the directions we want it to spin and we press save and you see it'll do a 3d rotate then we can do a skew transform skew and I can say 20 degrees, 20 degrees, right? And that'll skew the image. With all of these, you can do in the X and Y direction as well. So I can say skew Y, 20 degrees, and it'll only skew it in the Y direction, skew X in the X direction. And you can do that with the rotations and the translations as well, all right? Then we can do transform scale and we can scale this image by two. We can double the size of it or we can put 0.5 in here and we could cut the size of it in half. Then you can even do a matrix transformation and this is going to combine all the above transformations. Here are the parameters for a matrix transformation. So I can double the size in the X direction. I can skew it in the Y, skew it in the X direction, scale it in the Y direction, translate it in the X, and then I can translate it in the Y. I can press save, and that got really big. So I can scale it in the X, skew it in the Y, skew it in the X, scale it in the Y, translate it negative 50 pixels, and translate it 50 pixels in the Y direction. And you can see the effects there. But for now, I'm just going to comment out the matrix, and I'm going to comment out all the other transformations, right? And I'm just gonna show you what you can do with the perspective attribute. So you can set transform origin, and I can set this to top, and then transform perspective. And inside here, I can say 1.25 cm. Then I can do a rotation. So I'll say rotate 3D 
and I'm just going to say one, zero, zero, and 45 degrees. All right, now I have this set to top here. I could set this to bottom and we'll see it from the bottom. I can set this to center, All right? And we'll see the transformation from the center perspective.